you won your 10th straight World Triathlon Series race in London at the weekend. I gather you had the flu, though. Um, how, how does one win <laughs> in London I think when they've that, got the flu? I think that was blown out of proportion a little bit. I had a cold, um, was, was feeling under the weather, but, you know, I know that on race day, um, the likelihood of me feeling 100% is very slim, and I know that as well my competitors don't show up feeling 100 percent every time we race and we have to just compete under all conditions and it means you're top of the pile in the columbia thread needle rankings that determines doesn't it the best performing rankings across the itu world triathlon series H how does one stay ahead of the pack <sighs> that's a good question i think i'm learning as i go and you know i'm just focusing on what i can do to execute the best swim bike and run can't really control what the other people do but definitely giving it my all. Do you have a preferred discipline out of those three or is it on a sort of a daily by day basis? No I'd say running's uh, my favorite there's a lot that can't go wrong at that point you can't fall off when you're running um, you can't really get a mechanical if you're just running so it's kind of nice to get to the run. And of course you had a mechanic mechanical area in, in the Olympics in London didn't you in 2012 was that a huge disappointment? Um, I actually think it was a turning point in my career and I'm, I think it was actually really good for my career. It's, uh, you know, I had a flat tire and I finished and it just made me really motivated to want to go to Rio. Yeah, and of course, Rio is a, a year or so away. Will you be going? Is that your ultimate ambition, to win a gold yeah, in I've, Rio? Yeah, I've aspired to win gold in Rio since 2012 and it's what I've been working for. I need to qualify first, then there will be an opportunity later this year to qualify. So that's my goal for the year. Tell me about your former life. <laughs> you were an accountant. Yep. And then you saw the light. <laughs> yeah. You'd been a sportswoman for many years before then. From accountancy to triathlon, explain how smooth a process that is. Yeah, I was really fortunate with um, where I was working. I was working at Ernst & Young and I started doing triathlon on the side and you know I was working 80 hour weeks and it got a little much to be training and working so I started working part time and had some success in triathlon and took a leave of absence and never went back. Why wouldn't anyone want to stay and be an, an accountant? I actually do miss it sometimes. Um, this is tax accountancy. Yes exactly yeah, yeah. Um, I do miss it sometimes you know I miss I don't know the routine and just I like crunching numbers sometimes you, on the desk. <laughs> are there any skills that, that, are, that are transferable? Or not? I think for sure, you know, just hard work, dedication, um, the hours, and having that focus and learning not only um, about a short amount of things, but a lot of things in, in the whole sport. Now you're lucky that you're sponsored. Many of your peers aren't sponsored. I mean, with sponsorship, with winnings from each race, and you only win, you never come second or third. Uh, <laughs> is that enough to keep you going? Is it a difficult sport? To, 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 to survive in with or without sponsorship and with, a, with, with or without the prize money? Yeah, if you're not in the top three, I think it's really hard to survive in the triathlon circuit. And I'm really fortunate. I have a great agent and I have some awesome sponsors who support me through my career and allow me to do this. And I'm really lucky that I'm able to do triathlon. What's your criteria when it comes to talking with sponsors, deciding whether or not you should be associated with sponsors or partners? Because I looked at your website, there are partners and there are sponsors. You better tell us what's the difference between <laughs> them. But, uh, what's your criteria for entering into these relationships? Yeah, you know, first I need to believe in the products and um, really, you know, that's the first way to make a good connection is to believe in the product and I support them and they support me. And I've been really fortunate that um, all the people that I'm involved with, I really believe in 100% and they thankfully back me. Yeah. Uh, daily routine. Give us an idea of what time you get up, how much training you're doing, what you're eating, when you go to bed, then we'll compare it with mine. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I'd say uh, maybe I have a lazy start because uh, normally the first session that I have to be somewhere is normally 10.30, but before that, um, on my own, I normally just do a run in the morning, 30 to 60 minutes, and then swim with a group from 10.30 to noon, and then in the afternoon, normally go for another bike or a bike ride or another run, which is anywhere from an hour to three hours. Do you love it? I do. Um, Every day, you never think, oh, I can't be bothered to go for a run like I would do. 
there are definitely go for a run. There are definitely days like that. I right. think everyone has that in whatever their career is. You know, you wake up and it could be raining, it could be gloomy out. You're really tired, can't walk because your legs are so, so sore. So there's definitely those days I just want to stay in bed. What's next? You're still very young. How long do you go on in this? Thank in this you. Course? I'm 29. I think I'm really old. <laughs> Compared to me, you're very, very young. I mean, what's the what's the sort of expiration date of a of a of a serious world champion triathlete? Um, you know, honestly, since London, I've just been focusing on getting to Rio and doing well in 2016, and I haven't thought much about, like past that. Um, I have a husband, so I don't know if I'll get back into triathlon, if we'll do back something. Into accountancy, I mean, and have a family, maybe. Yeah, yeah I yeah. don't know. The possibilities are endless. <laughs>